Hey guys, how we doing? All right, today is the day of side quests. Side quests out the ass is what we're gonna focus on this morning, and then this afternoon, hear, um, me and Mux are hopefully gonna be going on some Valheim adventures. You might want to avoid going too deep into the desert, especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there, the kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. That's what we know. Sounds like the rebels are as friendly as it's ever. You. In honor. I wonder what they're doing this far in the desert. Is that a puddle? Yes, it is. That is a muddy puddle. Okay, I have like a ton of these, so. There we go, yeah. Damn, that's a lot of money. I like it. Okay, let's just see if these don't take. Because, I mean, once we get the max, then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Actually, a lot of these are just trash. I'm probably- I might even be able to sell some of these.
Actually. I feel like there isn't much that boosts your... She's in the wild, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? I forgot her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious, is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West of the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. <laughs> I have to eat more soup one more time. Aha! There you are! I keep hearing about people riding machines around here. Not sure what they want. Or are where you they lost? Are. Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in he the sounds familiar, too. Poor Guff Delsman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delfwares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has... Had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones. Lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up. Shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body... One of your Delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. You gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? Was there a Karja traveling with your expedition? A man by the name of Amatis? We always pick up a few travelers on the road. A Karja here, Banu there. Never learn their names, though. They don't stick around long. But I have a scout who might know. Likes the whole getting to know people thing. He's right over there, chatting up that Karja huntress. Don't remember her joining the Delve, either. Thanks. The camp. So this camp. It's your base of operations? Hi, Penguin! What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The Delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. Oh, your Maybe belly's feeling good name. again. Camp nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah. I think they are. <laughs> How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delve is only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. 
So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following? A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. Care to explain why I found a bunch of Osram nearby trying to strip a tall mech for parts? You don't say. So out of all the untouched delves in this desert, they went after a tall mech instead? <laughs> Guess they weren't that bright after all. Weren't they part of your expedition? That's what I thought. But no sooner we got out of this side of the tunnel, they struck out on their own. Turns out, they only joined so they could learn the tunnel's location. It looks like the secret stayed with them to the grave. They were killed by machines. Ha! <laughs> so they got what was owed. Serves them right for meddling with the gentle old tall man. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sand. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins' depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. I've been down there. Have you now? I've yet to lay eyes on the treasures myself. But I will. Eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> I do kind of like how the dialogue the changes a little bit depending on what you've already done. One in the same. That it over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, still flame. Talana, glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osara knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggart. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west, near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. On his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. Okay. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch-black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel spark be praised. I'm looking into it. Much appreciated. A lot of us want to know what happened. His there. voice is kind of weird. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah, that's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. 
I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Kind of like how there's like these like breadcrumb-ish quests that like lead you to new areas and stuff. I'm gonna do this quest next. There's gotta be. There has to be a cauldron down here somewhere. So I may thoroughly explore this area. I want to keep this on because we're going to do some farming. I don't think I need any bristlebacks. I should be able to do most, if not all, of the, like, path blocking stuff now, so. Tunnel's blocked. And no sign of the missing expedition. Ooh, there might be a black box I here. I find a way to get further in. I love how the trigger actually, like, pushes back on you. still alive in here. In here. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. Did anyone make it out? Help me find the first caravan. Yes, someone did. Good. At least, I'm not alone. Rusty 
easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on. You get your ass over here, Josh. I need to get to the safe first. Josh, no! We need those supplies. It's close by. Leave them. I know this title better than anyone, Mom. I work here. There's time. Damn. Missing expedition. Now it's angry at everyone. Okay, different skill. Different skill! <laughs> Let's try this one.
There we go. That all's room. She said they were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burrowers. I was gonna say, if they were terrified of burrowers, I think they got bigger problems being delvers. We will get there, Aloy. Chill. Able to clear that level with my bowcaster. There's a blaze container inside that wall. That sounded scary. Do not want. Must have attacked the officer as they were passing through.
Rock Breaker. Weak versus Frost and Shock. I'm gonna try and blow off its claws. And that's the big one, is trying to take off its claws. So... There we go! Okay, now I can switch to this. Yes. 
Or else we must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I better take a look. Got him. Those carts must be the supplies the second crew was supposed to bring over. Forgriff said his lockbox was a Forgriff's lockbox. Well, I broke off all of his claws, so I got four claws in one. That's pretty badass. Hey cousin, I've been thinking about your decision to not come along to the desert. I just want to let you know, I get it. Not every Osram is a born delver, and at least you're being upfront about it. I'll tell you a story. Last year, my crew gathered at Barren Light for our first foray into no, no man's land. This lone Karja came walking up, real fancy and loud he was, using all kinds of big words. He was on a solitary quest to research the cannibals of the Tanakh Lords. Gave us Delvers a stink eye, yelling that forged dirt like us shouldn't try to hinder an adventurer of immaculate repute. But when he got to the gates, the air rushed out of his bellows. He started chatting up the guards about what no man's land is really like. Got an earful, plus some rumors about the terrors of the clan lands. By this time, the old fellow had gone white as brew foam, kept bleeding about the wrists and how valuable he was, calling himself the greatest scholar in the land and a jewel of the sundom. Really worked himself into a lather. When the guards offered to open the gates, he nearly chucked his breakfast, howling about how one step in the west meant one foot in the grave. Eventually, the captain got annoyed and had him packed off back to Meridian. You know who that was? Well, traveled around, the famous explorer. Yeah. So don't feel bad. As long as you're honest with yourself, nobody can hold your choices against you. And remember, you came as far as not so well traveled around did. I'll see you when I get back from Porgraf. Porgif's expedition. And you know what? That is essentially the words that I live by. As long as you're honest with yourself, nobody should have power to say shit over you. Doesn't matter if you can do what everybody else can do. It just matters if you are honest with yourself about what you are doing or not doing. Oh, well, could I have actually gotten up there? get up there not entirely sure Ah, it's a different space. I get it. Should 
should actually probably go make some more, get some more food made for me too next time we're in town. Like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have trapped the Osram, and the kid Russ must have run into the western tunnel. Gotta get to the other side. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. Hey, Mom, you were right. I couldn't even reach the safe. It was total mayhem in the tunnel. Explosions and everything. So all that stuff isn't going to do me any good. If anybody finds this, take it all. The door code is 2054. Instead, I'm stuck here with two families. I took them into the maintenance room for shelter. A six-year-old just spilled our water by accident. I'm almost at a battery. No reception. I don't think anyone's coming for us. I hope you're better off than me. I... 2054. Should be clear now. I better let Portif know. Cool, okay. I think I'm back in no man's land. Now it'll be easier to go back and forth. I want the AOE thing. There's a lot of them coming.
that sucked. Wait, I can actually do the shit that's over here now. <gasps> Cause we can swim now. Give me this fish. Nearby. I could add it to the collection of the globe. The look here shows there's another recording in there. Yeah. 
have another locator beacon on the same frequency. Is there actually? Can I see it from here? I'm actually gonna stop by that guy. Oh yeah, there's a metal flower there too. Being able to swim is awesome, just saying. I want to check out this guy. I don't remember what he had. Okay, I've got all of his stuff. But this is a good spot to take a short break to go grab a drink. So hold tight, guys, and I will be right back. 